Hello guys, it's Emily here for Legends of the Superstitions and an additional segment for the podcast that's something like some field work. I've reached out to several people who knew Rose Chavez well and organized professional interviews with them to give you an idea of who this girl was and what clues we may have missed. Today's interview features Jen. Oh, hi. Yeah, sorry. For reasons of personal privacy, Jen has requested her last name be retracted, but what she is willing to share is that she was a fellow counselor alongside Rose at Canyon Lake Summer Camp. Yep. For how long? I've been there for three seasons now. This would have been Rose's fifth. Jen has some personal anecdotes and accounts she's consented to sharing with us and possibly some answers to questions I've compiled. Ready to get to it? Yeah, fire away. What exactly was your professional and personal relationship with Rose, respectively? Well, professionally, I guess she was technically my boss. We had the same title, but she'd been there longer and kind of took charge. She was very good at giving orders. Personally, we weren't close friends or anything, but we hung out once or twice outside camp stuff. How many hikes have you been on with her? Way too many to count. She was kind of like my mentor, I guess. That's a better way of putting it. She definitely taught me some stuff about the wilderness. Like... Well, the biggest thing about hiking is that skill isn't really a part of it. How well you can climb over a rock is pointless if you don't know which rock to climb over and which one to stay away from. Hiking is all about wisdom. She gave me a lot of that. She was really into being everyone's outdoors guru. The kids at camp loved it. A lot of people said she had a very specific joy about hiking. Oh yeah, the girl could get a runner's high off of just like a mile on a trail. She wanted to go to school for it. She was going to pre-med though. Well, yeah, I guess those were things that are kind of weird. Like, our Easter hike, she was a crazy different person. What do you mean? She was quiet, not popping up on facts every five minutes. I knew school was a big annoyance for her, so I think that might have been it. And I know she was feeling some serious pressure to do pre-med, but was crazy about going up to Boulder, Colorado for an environmental science program. Really? Yeah, she was hyped on it, but, well, it's kind of hard to phrase it without sounding mean or disrespectful. Try your best. We can edit it out. Well, I know her parents were the ones making her do pre-med. She didn't really confide in me or anything, but it came up offhand once or twice. I didn't think it was bumming her out so much until I saw how different she was during our last big hike. Quiet? Yeah. She even got ahead of us sometimes and we had to get her to wait up. She never chugs ahead of anyone. She doesn't like it when people feel rushed. And that was the last time you saw her? Yeah. And then I saw all the stuff on the news. It sucks. One last question before I let you go, Jen. Do you know anything about the Lost Dutchman's gold mine? Well done. We all do. Any specific interest in it as a hiker? I mean, yeah. Who doesn't like the idea of lost treasure, right? But if I'm hiking in the superstitions, it's because I want to hit the trails, not go treasure hunting. I don't even think it exists. Did Rose show any interest in it? Not really for a long time. I knew her. She did have some books, though, that might have been about that. What do you mean? Well, she did a lot of reading on the last hike in her rest time. Like I said, usually she's super involved and active, and last time she was just kind of bummed out and quiet. So she was reading a lot. One was about, like, folklore or something. One was some cheap novel about the mountains, and I think one was a history book. I thought she might have been studying for a new trail or something. Kind of a roundabout way to study. Yeah, it's all weird and crappy. I agree. Thanks for your time, Jen. No problem. I hope I helped. Once again, guys, I'm Emily with Legends of the Superstitions, and this has been Jen. Thanks for listening.